drafting for and against Adam's champion <laughs> pool. We do have an interview on standby here, so let's talk it over to Colleen and Kaiser to talk about that chaotic win and maybe even chaotic draft against BDS. Thank you very much, Dracos and Kaiser. Yeah, yeah, chaotic might be one way to describe that game. How do you feel about that win? <laughs> It actually kind of felt like winning, I don't know, World's Finals or something, like getting a win like that, uh, 40, 45 minutes, I think it was, or something. Uh, I mean, it was just crazy, right? Like back and forth, uh, Baron, uh, maybe an, even an Elder coming up, right? Uh, it, it just felt like like an uh, eternity, right? And uh, after we got a pick on Leona, I knew the game was like kind of in our back, and then, uh, yeah, th that was just relief. Yeah, it, it was very back and forth. And it's interesting that Dust already started talking mm -hmm. about the draft, but they mainly talk about what happened at that Baron. Uh, we see a lot of things happening mm -hmm. right there. It's very chaotic, but I kind of want to know, how was the communication between you guys? Uh, I mean, the communication coming up to the Baron, I think uh, it was kind of rough for us because we don't have that much to engage, right? And, uh, to keep the Zinzao out of the pit was uh, pretty hard uh, for us because we only kind of rely on my hook, right? And if mm -hmm. he dodges that, like he's free to do whatever he wants for like the next next eight, 10 seconds, right? And they have a lot of poke with uh, Varus uh, and the blower coming in, right? And uh, yeah, we just had to kind of flip it in a way, right? And like, trust me to hit the hook and uh, yeah, we, we got the Nash. So uh, yeah, that was a big win for us afterwards. I mean, you name the hook, but I kind of feel when you pick up that brush, and correct me if I'm wrong, you're also there to support Unforgiven a lot on the Philios, and that the main task is to keep Adam away on the Camille. I mean, for sure. Uh, I think uh, the Camille was still annoying for us, right? Uh, like, they played some fights really well, and, like, the, the Camille just dove in really deep. But since he had no flash, like, he could never dodge my hook if he actually went too deep. Mm -hmm. And uh, we really um, kind of... Um, after the mid game, after we got uh, caught a, a few times, we like developed this game plan that we just like uh, kill the Camille when she like ins or like when she goes so deep because she can't get out right uh, yeah. she, since she has no flash and she she had GA after uh, after some time, but I think GA usually doesn't really help you if you if you go too deep because you will just die again right. And uh, after we developed that game plan, I think it was uh, a lot easier for us to play team fights. And uh, yeah, like uh, Camille was not as useful in the in the late game anymore because uh, Victor and Afiel just kept scaling and just kept one shotting her. Yeah, I, I think you had a lot of options with the comp you drafted here. Um, now, I do want to focus a bit more on Unforgiven. He's one of the rookies we've been talking about a lot. It's a rookie that has been showing a lot of promising things. Um, how's it for you as his direct um, lane buddy um, on his performance these first four weeks? I mean, I think he de developed really great, actually. Like, at the start, we had some, like, troubles with, like, wave control or, like, uh, moving, for example, or not being too greedy. I think that's, like, stuff that every ERL ADC kind of has uh, troubles dealing with, especially because Will, he always plays strong side, I think, on his team. So uh, coming, like, into, into Mad Lions, which traditionally only played... Uh, weak side bot lane, right? Uh, it was a bit different for him, for sure, but I think yeah. we uh, we taught him well, and I think he he also, like, uh, adapted really well, and I think uh, we could see that, like, he's a, just a really strong player, right? Like, uh, individually, like, he's performing in team fights, he's performing in laning phase. Uh, for example, today as well, like, he, he got a solo kill on x Maddie, right? Uh, which, like, ki kind of kept us in the game. So, yeah, I I'm really happy with his performance. I think he he's a really great guy as well, so there's not really anything to compl complain about with him. It's all good to hear all those things about Forgiven, about his performance and all that stuff. But I need to give it to you, Kaiser. Um, you are the Kia player of the game. Oh, I mean, I'm happy for that because uh, I, I think I didn't get a single one this season yet. So I'm, I didn't really play, perform that well uh, in, in the season uh, compared to like my last few splits. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that I, I can maybe show uh, some good performances uh, here now, uh, here and then again. <laughs> Kaiser, I am uh, going to thank you a lot for all your insights, and uh, we are going to head on over to our next game, which is going to be Vitaly versus Astralis. We're going to go to Medic and Cathedral.